that is known as the stamen and the female reproductive part is known as the pistil look at raja and vijay how they are running after the butterflies where there are so many flowers it is obvious to have a lot of butterflies and honey bees yes because they get to suck the nectar of so many flowers remember we had studied about the interdependence in the first chapter of science yes the honey bees suck nectar from the flowers and in return help pollinating the flowers yes friends we honey bees and butterflies really like the nectar of the flowers the male part of this plant stamen has a stigma where the pollen grains are found when other insects or i sit on the flowers the pollen grains get stuck to our body then when we sit on some other flower the pollen grains fall on them in this way the pollen grains are transported from the anther to the stigma sometimes the pollen grains fall on the same flower stigma this is known as self pollination other times the pollen grains fall on the stigma of some other flower this is known as cross pollination look at this flower this is the stigma look there is a bud like structure here what is this yes even this flower has a part like this I remember seeing something similar in the science book too. Why don't we ask the teacher about it? Why don't we draw these flowers in our drawing books and label them? Friends, why don't you also make a picture of a flower and label it? Till then, I shall suck some nectar from some flowers. children now all of you come here so how was the observation look teacher i have made this drawing and labeled it teacher i picked up a few flowers i noticed a bulb like part in most of them look can you please tell us what it is yes sure meena come let us all look at this flower look this is the anther and this is the stigma this here is the ovary when the pollen reaches the stigma they travel through a tube like structure to the ovary here the fertilization takes place the ovary becomes a fruit and the other parts of the flower withers and falls off it is very interesting i used to think that the role of the flower is only to provide a good smell but it is because of the smell of the flowers that the honey bees and butterflies are attracted towards them what is this on your shirt sham looks like some flowers or dried seeds does this mean you are also helping in pollination did all of you observe these things which have got stuck to sham's shirt Now all of you think about this ask read and then come and tell me tomorrow about what you researched So friends the flowers are very important for all of us actually if there are no flowers there would be no seeds no plants at all my friends and i help in pollination have you ever thought what would happen if we did not pollinate now we shall meet in the next video